Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to the Aravaki campaign for Total War Rome 2. This is the campaign map and in the previous episode we took Massilia and we are now looking to expand into the Alps. The Insubures tribe has Genua and the Vercelli and they have allies as the Boii in Placentia. I will be going into the diplomacy right now and declaring war. Oh my god, this game is glitching like hell after the last patch. What is going on with the glitching? My god. Right. In Sibures, we will Greetings. declare war. There we go. And we are going to move with my army as far as we can, are we? I don't know. Go to there, I think. Uh, that should be... Ah, we we'll go all the way, why not? Let's, let's push right out. Journey completed. Journey completed, right. We have some money to spend, so we may as well spend it. Oh, actually we can't. We used my spy in the previous in the previous episode, of course, of course. I don't think there's much else for me to do here, so I'll click end turn. Hope you're having a great day, great week, great night, evening, brunch, breakfast, dinner, lunch, or a bottle of wine. Whatever you're doing right now. Hope we're enjoying it very much. <laughs> and I'm playing this, of course. <laughs> Silly me. Right. This game is lagging like hell, and it happened in the last part. That's why I cut the last episode to about, I think it was 12 or 13 minutes. I also had a big headache headache while I was recording as well, so I didn't really feel like I could go to about half an hour or so with my recording session. But we will go a bit longer in this episode. What can we research this time? We've got plenty of stuff, haven't we? Uh, maybe something... Oh, what can we go here? Missile damage? Charge bonus? Oh, we go for that. We definitely go for that. Oh, my frames per second is absolutely appalling right now. It's on... When, I, when I'm still like this, it's about 40 frames per second. When I move, it goes down to about 20 to 15. But it was fine before patch 12. Even the patch 12 beta wasn't this bad. My oh my. What insane stuff CA has done. Yes. We're going to attack this this army here. We're going to try to poison the provisions of the army. Are we successful? We are not. What a waste of time that was. And we're going to use this spy to attack this army here. Oh, nobody wants sabotage. Poison provisions. I think this is my better spy. Let's see. Yay, excellent. What a good spy you are. This army is very good army. Oh shit. We've increased in rank. Let's let's uh increase his rank then. Um what can we go for? Ah, we'll go for that, why not? We are going to see where we are, but we're gonna be into a fortified position. Can I move my second army? I don't think I can without some sort of rebellion happening here. No, it's a shame. We can upgrade some of these buildings though, which we probably will do. Why not? Let's have fun. Spend the cash. Spend the money. Uh, I don't know what the boy I are doing over there, but I know what I'm going to try and take. Try and take these three regions here. And if I can go into the strategic overview, just so I can tell you what I am planning. Take all of Gallia Cisalpina up here. Go down to Etru Etruria, the Etruscan regions, until we meet up with Rome. We'll then eventually take Rome and take all of Italy. Once we have all of Italy, that's when I strike Carthage and go for my victory conditions. By then, it should be the end of the campaign. Now, I think we could probably click end turn again. I'm just going to fly through the end turns right now. Oop, army forgot to move. That's my army. I'm sending towards Carthage, ready to take out the Carthage when I eventually fight them. And I want to ask you guys a question, actually, um, while we're having a end of turn, and that is, do you, how much do you enjoy Rome 2 right now? We are about eight or nine months after release. Been patched twelve times. We've had. Oh my God, do I care about this? No, I don't really. Who cares about that? You know, what do you think of the game this long after release? Are you still enjoying it? Are you now playing other games? Um. You know, what are your thoughts on the game and the patches? Because 
I think that the game's kind of run its course for me at least you know I, I am still enjoying it but only to a certain extent oh we'll we'll auto resolve this guys because it's kind of straightforward um, let's see aggressive stance will do yeah you know I am enjoying it still but it, I say only to a certain extent because there are things which still bug me about the game a little bit you know like like the lagging I mean it shouldn't be lagging it wasn't lagging in the last patch but now in this patch it seems to be lagging for me I'm not doing anything differently we'll go for some tactician there there we go lovely don't have the movement points to go up there do we no take two turns anyway yes. uh, this army got general up there oh they are screwed do you have land down here? Yes, they have Pisai. Is that all they have? Oh god, they have Aretum, Aretium as well. Where's Rome then? Don't tell me Rome's been wiped out. It'd be quite funny if they were, might. Let's check diplomacy. Let's see if Rome are wiped out or not. Don't think they were. Nope, they're still here. But they're at war with the Boyai, Carthage, Libya, Massili, and Insubures. I can actually try and get trade with them, so I'm going to try and do that for now. I want trade. Ooh, we might get somewhere with this. But let's get some money as well. How about 2,000? No? Okay, we just get the trade done. Okay, maybe not. Another day, maybe. Um, I've got loads of money to spend. Can I recruit anything decent? Probably not. You to slingers, maybe? What uh, mercenaries can we get? Uh, do I want any of these? Maybe some cavalry. I could probably do with a cavalry mercenary unit. Just get the one for now. Bolster my force. I'm going to send this spy down towards Pisai in that case. There we go. Get the spy down there. Get your ass moving. Come on. Stop lagging. Jesus. If this game keeps lagging like this, I'm not going to be able to play this game. Sabotage. Poison your wells. There we go. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. I have seen it done. Did he level up? I don't think he did. Oh, he nearly there. He nearly leveled up. Look at that. Only two more points to get. Full experience. Versailles. Versailles. Right, what are we going to do with Versailles? We're going to attempt to sabotage this. Sabotage. Just keep sabotaging them until they crumble. There we go. Lovely. We love it. We love it, don't we? Right. I'm now going to click end turn. Can I raise another army here, I wonder? I probably could. Can I? Yes, I can. We can have two more armies, actually. Oh, God. I can't pronounce your name. Bodenos. Rebricos. Icon. Iconicos. Rebricos. Raise army. Uh, we go for a general a horse unit for you. And we're going to give you. When I can do it. Some recruits. We're going to give you a couple of slingers. Oh, one slinger and one spearman for now. We're going to click the end turn button. That path is blocked. Well, that path is blocked, sir. But yeah, go back to my point about the game. You know, I am enjoying it, but only to a certain extent. <laughs> they want peace. <laughs> Fuck you. They want peace with you. No, sir. No, sir. They are really weak. I'm surprised how weak they are. But yeah, you know, like the DLC hasn't really fulfilled my uh, expectations, I guess. It feels rather bland. The map feels a bit... It doesn't feel alive. I think that goes for the general campaign as well. It just doesn't quite feel alive to me. We move these armies closer together, I think. Yes, get them both down there. On the border, ready to, for um, our invasion of Carthage when we eventually go there. And I'm going to probably jump, make it run for... Right, let's see. Hang on. Must work this out in a sec. Try and Ovendo, that'll do. That's what we want there. This guy is now going to go straight for. Oh my god, we can take it in one turn. Oh my god, is this another auto resolve? Oh, it's not. This one isn't an auto resolve. My oh my, we're going to continue in circle for now. In that case. And my spy can't be used there now. Nope, can't click on him. There we go. I am the knife in the dark. We're going to poison your sabotage. provisions. I like that word. A little bit of sabotage. Oh, you failed. How awful of you. How could you? 
Oh, we have rebels here, so that's good. I'm happy to leave the rebels. Leave them there. We're going to go to Eretium this time. There we go. Lovely. Oh, is that what we think it is? It is. The Etruscan League is still, still with us. That's good. Well done, Etruscan League. Etruscan. Yeah, the Etruscan League. Oh, I can't afford anything. That's just a shame. We're going to take this province this turn anyway, so we're going to click on the attack button and we will assault them. But I shall see you all on the battle map. Okay, guys, and welcome back. So I have my ballista set up behind. Have a line of my hoplites and swordsmen in the front. Slingers in the middle, and then oh, I haven't grouped these up. My scutari spearmen in the line behind. On the right flank, I also have my cavalry, which I'm hoping to use to good effect in this battle. I think we're going to be on for a big battle here. Now the game isn't lagging at the moment, and I have actually turned down my settings from alt from extreme to ultra. So I have everything on ultra, particle effects, units, uh, not unit sizes, particle effects, um, oh, you know, all the other crap you get on, on the menu. Basically all on ultra, so it shouldn't uh, affect too much. Oh, they're just going to sit there. What are you doing? No, don't sit. Ah, oh, don't make me come to you. You sallied out. I thought you would attack me if you sallied out. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Sallingers. Just move them all like so. Warriors move out. Are they moving out? Oh, are they moving? I don't know. Maybe they are. Oh, they are. Excellent. Excellent. And I actually see some enemies approaching. I'm just going to bring my ballista forward as well to uh, about there. Should be fine. I'm going to control the cab now. Noble cavalry. Best place to attack. I think we'll probably bring them up the up the right flank over there, and then perhaps hit them on the flank if we can. Oh my god, they got so many skirmishes. It's tempting just to go from now. Shall we or shouldn't we? Uh, bring the blisters forward more. Iberian swords. Iberian swords. Lock that group together. Warriors, Lock that group together. Get the Salingas involved as well. They're just going to march. They're all going to march together. Like so. We're going to bring these right up the right flank now. Oh, now it's lagging. Oh, it's not good. Yeah, I don't think I can continue playing this game if it's going to be like this all the time. It was like in the last episode and I didn't have any battles in that episode, which was strange. Oh my god. This is going to be horrible viewing experience, guys. And for that, I do uh, sincerely apologise. But there's not much I can do. Is this fucking game is so annoying on, on times. Take a general out here. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Take the general out. We're doing well. Oh, my cav. Where are we going, my cav? Take out their noble horse over here with the cav. Hit them on the flanks. Ballista's doing damage. Ballista. Do some ballista damage. For the king of Iberia. Attack, 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 attack. Iberian swords. Get you all on. Frenzy is ready to do. Hoplite is ready. Oh, I should have done a frenzy charge. Doesn't matter. Don't cry. Don't cry instead. Battle ready and eager for blood. Eager for blood. Kill them all. Oh my god, we're absolutely annihilating them at the moment. Didn't expect. Didn't expect it to be this easy. Holy crap. Oh, we got some friends coming from the left flank. I'm going to get the ballista to aim for our friends on the left flank. And we're going to get our two units of slingers to focus fire on them as well. We're going to keep chasing them down like we are. Oh my god, my cavalry is raping this unit back here. What have we got on our. Uh, Spear Warriors, we don't want to mess around with the Spear Warriors, so we're going to get these units to all form up like so. Get the Cav out and pull them back like so as well. All our Slinger units are going to pepper our friends over here, and we should be fine now in this battle, I think. We're decimating the enemy. Oh my god, they're losing men. Losing loads and loads of men, 128. Jesus. 
Cavalry can take out the skirmishers, didn't even see those skirmishers. Let's get those Skutaris involved, let's get involved, get them all involved, come on. Charge them all, kill them all. Slingers. Fire and blood, let's get this unit to turn around like so. Cavalry has wiped them out completely, gonna go up the right flank now for me. Cavalry doing a good grand old job. Take one or two shots, it's probably gonna lag like hell, but we're gonna try and take a shot or two. For the fun of it. Oh, yes. Oh, just over. Damn it, that wasn't too bad. I'll try another shot. About there, maybe? No, oh, no, it's too bad. It's too bad. It's too bad. I'm down to 90 f 91, that's good. Oh, we're murdering them. Time for the flank. Flanky maneuver. Oh, we've done it. They're gone. They are gone. End battle. Victory! Vote with the vanquished. So, a victory for the Aravaki. We only lost 482. Very good victory for us. They lost most of their men. Battle duration 5 minutes 24. And who had the most kills? Let's see. Ooh, my hoplites. My mercenary hoplites. 205. Don't think anything else beat that. Nope, nobody else beat that. That's good. That's very good. One of the units only had one kill. <laughs> oh well. These are experienced units as well, you know, look at that, my Scutari got three chevrons, two chevrons, two chevrons, one, one, got some good experience in this army, they got a fresh, they're a fresh face army, no chevrons at all, oh my god this game is taking a while to load up, tell you what guys, I will see you back on the campaign map. Yeah! And there we have it guys, so a decisive victory for us. We have taken Vercelli, we have occupied it, and we have won. Our provinces are looking very good now. We have Genoa and Vercelli, and soon we will move into Placentia as well. But I shall end this episode here. Once again, I do apologise for the lag. Hopefully I can sort something out in the near future and try to fix that issue. But apart from that, I'm hoping things will go well in the future episodes. So as always, hope you've enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.